feeling confident. I'm wearing my Charlie's Angels jumpsuit. Good morning, Charlie. Hey guys, I'm Sarah Rodriguez with Mother Maui TV. And as you can see by the description, this is my final results video of Obaji Nuderm. I have been on Obaji for about three months and about 10 days or so. So I just wanted to give my overall review of the experience and my results. Oh, and just, just a little recap of what Obaji Nuderm is. It's a medical skincare system. Now I'm not selling it. I'm not like, and, and, and I, I couldn't, you have to actually get it from a licensed professional, you know, a dermatologist or an esthetician, you know, that I think works with an, a dermatologist. And because this is really, really potent stuff and you should be under, you know, professional guidance when going through medical skincare. This uses 4% hydroquinone, very potent, skin bleaching agent and you can't be on it for more than about three or four months um, and you need guidance along the way so just to make sure that you don't have any adverse effects from it and that your skin is reacting to it the way it's supposed to I think it's absolutely phenomenal and it completely works but there ha there is a bit of controversy when it comes to hydroquinone. But what I love about Obagi, they actually have a hydroquinone free, kind of like a new derm system targets um, pigmentation. So if that's like an issue that you're dealing with or like sun damage and you don't want to use hydroquinone, I would check out the FX, I believe it's called Obagi FX. But like I said, I am no way affiliated. I am just a girl who messed her skin up so bad that I ended up, you know, researching skincare. I mean, really researching skincare for the past year. So I've gotten a lot of my information from either estheticians or dermatologists. This system also comes with tretinoin too, which is a vitamin A derivative. I have a video all about tretinoin too. Um, if you wanted to check that out, um, Phenomenal, vitamin A is so good for your skin. The benefits are scientifically based, you know, that's what I love about medical skincare is that there's actual proof that this works. You're not just spending your money on products hoping that you're gonna get the results. Like this, you're gonna get the results, but you're gonna have to pay for those results money-wise and also in irritation and in redness. So I have um, a couple videos, an AM and a PM routine of me kind of explaining each step and what ingredients are actually in each of the steps. So it's been a journey. I do have to say I have a love-hate relationship with the Obagi New Derm. I absolutely love it in the sense that it gives amazing results like i'm feeling so good about myself like my confidence was super low when my skin was at its worst and this really transformed my skin so i have to say thank you obaji feeling confident i'm wearing my charlie's angels jumpsuit good morning charlie oh and then my hate comes from the actual going through the journey. The experience was hard. My skin was red, inflamed for the entire time. Like there wasn't a time where my face was not red. Then I had read that like a lot of people like, oh, after about maybe, you know, eight weeks, the redness kind of went down. Not for me. I was dry, peeling, red, all the time so so now the good part the benefit like my results hold I'm gonna get closer guys I just washed my face like right before I started filming so that you guys can really obviously see my skin nothing is more annoying than somebody doing skincare videos and their face is completely caked with makeup and you're like I can't even tell so 
I've got a little bit of redness that I was working on and I did three IPLs right before I did, well not directly right before, they were spaced out, but I had done three IPL treatments, which I'll do a video on IPLs too because I really think I got some good results for that. Right after my third IPL, like actually like right after the procedure um, is when my esthetician kind of told me, you know, let's prep your skin for the next treatment that you're gonna do. I was kind of saying that I wanted to do PicoShore laser, um, but now I've decided to do microneedling instead to kind of work on some textural um, scarring that I got um, on my cheeks this past year. My skin is never scarred up from acne, ever, ever. But after the great burn of 2019, which I've mentioned probably in every single video in the past year, I was using a lot of creams on my faces because there was a lot of theories that were going on that was going on in my face and they thought maybe it was a fungus infection so I was putting on literally like fungus cream all over my face and I ended up breaking out so severely that it ended up really causing some scarring and I think my skin was in just such a unhealthy state after that burn it didn't it wasn't able to re even recover from the acne because i've never scarred from acne ever before um so that's why i'm going to be doing microneedling next to work on textural things but i think the obagi nuderm really helped actually smooth it out like you really it's it's really not that that It's really, n it w it's so much better. Ignore that guy right there. We're just gonna ignore it. It's so much smoother than when it was. Like already a huge difference. And I didn't even think that it was supposed to help with um, texture. I didn't realize Obagi Nuderm was, but like my pores also have really, really diminished. Like they've become so much smaller. My overall skin tone, because after the burn, my face was probably three or like, I don't know how many shades I'm exaggerating, but it was so much darker than my neck. So it looked really, really odd because it was like, it was like a different head, like on a neck and it just didn't match and it looked so weird. And that like, it has lightened my face to my like original skin tone definitely and has lightened up a lot of the pigmentation that I had from the burn. I mean, there was a lot of pigmentation going on. Um, so let me do, Ooh, okay. There we go. There we go. Like I said, pores have definitely diminished. Pigmentation has lightened up fine lines like I actually was starting to get some fine lines underneath my eyes and I mean guys it's so much better it's in, it's impressive mind you like I said like it's not cheap so it's, it's kind of like obviously not everybody is able to afford it or able to go to you know a dermatologist to get what you need because tretinoin is a medication and you need a dermatologist to prescribe it to you. But as you can see, it's looking so much more even and I couldn't be happier with the results. Like seriously, especially like I'm an actress. So when that happened to my face, I thought, well, there it goes. Like, I will never be in front of the camera ever again. Like, I accepted it almost. Like, damn, I trained, like, my entire life. And in, like, 20 minutes, I messed my face up where I can't be in front of a camera anymore. Like, it was traumatizing. So, just that alone, like, just being here in front of the camera and, like, feeling good in my Charlie's Angels, like, jumpsuit, that's big. Like, that's really, really huge for me. So... I do have a lot of redness and pink. I shouldn't say red, it's pink. It's pink, it's not even that bad. And it's me, ugh, vanity and ego. Like, ugh, bleh, bleh. I annoy myself sometimes, but anyways, like I have some pinkness that I'm hoping that microneedling is going to help with. Um, but anyways, I have been off of the Obagi New Derm for a good, maybe like 
five days or so. So like the residual like redness from the products, like my, the redness has gone down a lot. It, it's gone down, I think all of it's gone down from, from, from the medication. So this is just now my real skin tone, not irritated from the tretinoin or the hydroquinone. And I feel really fresh faced and bright. And my, my oil production, like I have a more oil, I have oily skin and I have definitely noticed that my face isn't as oily. Like the oil production has really, really minimized, like extremely noticeable. That's it. I completely a hundred percent love this product. And if you're thinking about it, I would definitely talk to, you know, a dermatologist. Thank you for those who have watched and commented um, in my previous videos. You know, I know I've had, let's see, I'm gonna get my phone because guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I really appreciate it. Oh, Michael S, thank you. Um, he goes, just so you know, you aren't supposed to mix step three and five. You're supposed to apply three by itself, let it sit and then mix your step five with tretinone all three together. Thank you so much, Michael, for telling me that. Um, my esthetician um, advised me to do it, but I really, what, what I really love about the skincare community is like people like that who, you know, feel obligated to let you know if they feel like, hey, you know, look into this. Like, I don't know if you're doing it right um, because you could really mess up your skin, you know, with some, with medical grade skincare. So I definitely appreciate it, Michael S, for letting me know, but everything's good. You know, I got the okay from my esthetician. So, oh, there was another girl that had messaged me and let's see. Oh, okay. So I did a five week review and a seven week review. So I'm just going to look into my comments right here. I think I need to still get back to one of them too. But um, Sabrina Kiani, um, hi, I'm currently on this treatment with 0 0.05 tretinoin. I experience heavy peeling around my mouth and feel like I look overall darker, particularly around the mouth. Did you experience anything similar? My dermatologist has advised to keep going with it, but I can't help but freak out at how red and darker my face has gotten. Thanks. Same thing happened to me. And I think too, with darker skin tones, like that redness comes off as a little bit pigmented. So I, it looked like I had a tan, you, the, like the entire time. It actually looked a little bit darker, but then I started realizing that it was like the underneath redness kind of showing through and making it look like it was a little bit darker. So I replied to her that I was experiencing the same thing and my esthetician, Re my esthetician reiterated, reiterated, is that how you say it? Reiterated, re now I'm thinking too much about it. Reiterated, reiterated that those are actually normal side effects um, to the Abaji New Derm system. And that means it's actually working. So <sighs> no pain, no gain, right? So Chico Tembo, thank you so much for messaging me. And like I said, this is what I love. He just wanted to make sure that I had some really, really important information about it. And yes, I've done my research, but, but thank you so much because there's a lot of people that make YouTube videos and don't do any research. And they're like, hey, everybody just try this out, you know, and are not explaining the things that they should know. Um, and I definitely, that's why I wanna make sure I'm always educated about the videos that I do. And I'm pulling information from either dermatologists or estheticians and they're from, you know, reputable sources. So, and he goes, I'm a, I'm black, 30 years old and male. I was introduced to Obagi New Derm um, and it's associated tretinoin cream during my university day seven years ago. At the time I had terrible acne scars. And as you can imagine on black skin, they really stood out. Tretinoin truly changed my skin. Me too, me too. Um, I remember having this amazing glow, mm -hmm, especially during the summertime. And I also recall how much attention I got from women because of how radiant my skin was. Mm, good, happy for you. Um, I ceased using the product. I ceased using the product after about three years because it started to become a huge expense for me. I was still a student at the time, you see. Seven years and nine months global lockdown later, I have resumed my treatment. Um, let me just get to it. Your skin will start to look great after 
a cycle around three months, which is correct. Um, after six months, dare I say, your skin will look just as flawless as Melissa's. I'm not sure who Melissa is, but it's true. Your, your skin looks so good after a while. Um, I learned from one of Melissa's videos. Who's Melissa? Is she? She must be a YouTuber. Um, nine months on three months. I learned from one of Melissa's videos that a nine month on a three month off cycle is the best. Interesting. My dermatologist confirmed this to me as well. Thank you for sharing that. That's good information. Make sure you are under supervision by a dermatologist during this period. My dermatologist recently informed me that patients on tretinoin point one stand a high risk of developing cancer as the product tends to uproot dormant, dormant cancer cells. This could hold true for smokers, sunbathers, and then he refers to, I believe, the article about it. Thank you. Thank you for putting that in my comments so that there is more information coming out of videos. Um, please find time to read this and click the first link on the article to access the full research paper. I so will. Sun cream is very important and I explain that, um, I believe in my AM, PM, you know, or my AM, I explain that in my AM routine. Um, in fact, I suggest you avoid the sun between 11 and 4 mm -hmm, and you wear hats as the sun rays are the strongest during these hours. Black ethnic skin can handle sun rays due to our rich melanin. However, this won't save you whilst you on tretinoin as your skin will become more sensitive. And that is true. If you have darker skin tone, like you still need to protect your skin. And this like wear sunblock, but I always wear hats. Like my hat collection, I mean my hat collection, my hat collection. I mean, this isn't a hat, but I mean, like how functional is this? Oh, sorry, I am on Obaji meter. So I would invest in some really broad brim hats if you were going to be on tretinoin, um, and especially if you're gonna be out on Obaji neuter. But let's get back to what he was saying. Also in regards to your remark about doing this in the winter, you are right on that score because now is the best time. I also can't wait for this summer. All the best. Just going to heart that for you. And just make a little, little, little reply to you right now. But hey guys, if you like this kind of content, um, go ahead and press the like button and subscribe to me. I'm also producing a series on Maui called Realistic Holistic, and it's all about alternative medicine and holistic practices available um, on Maui. So I'm going to be uploading those. We are aiming to shoot late January at the Akaku station here on Maui. It's going to be on channel 55 and just found out they're also gonna make it a radio show on 88.5 KOKU here on Maui. So if you guys live here, stay tuned because I'll be giving you guys more information of when that's airing on TV. And if you're not on Maui, uh, don't worry. After it airs on TV, I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel so that everybody can learn more about amazing holistic practices and alternative medicine available here on Maui. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.